Hello everyone and welcome to the Screen Vault Podcast. I am Blake and today I'm joined by Elio and Liam. So uh, this is the weekly weekly podcast of entertainment and gaming provided by us truly. And it's going to be divided up on YouTube into two parts separated. But on iTunes, it'll be the full thing unedited. Well, edited, but like terribly, if you ask me. No, I'm kidding, Liam. I'm not going to shit on you like that. How dare you? <laughs> All right. So uh, today we're going to be talking about McGregor versus Mayweather first, baby. That's what we're McGregor going to talk versus about. Mayweather. Do you, so you both watched it, right? Yeah. You both watched it live? No, yeah. I, I slept. I watched it live. I was sick. So we got two people watch it live. One person who was sick, sleeping like a bitch. Got it. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to ask, did anyone put bets down? I, oh, I bet I it with my dad. I was going to put money down and then like I didn't realize the betting format. It was like all confusing and stuff because first time betting and plus I was broke. So what can you do? What can you do? What can you do? Who are you going to bet on if you could? Yeah, I was going to go Mayweather. You're going to go Mayweather? It's obvious. Like, McGregor is he's a UFC fighter. You know, he transitioned to boxing, like, good on him and stuff. But, like, you know, it wasn't his fight. Did you see the odds? It was something like 7 to 1 for Mayweather. Yeah. I mean, for McGregor. The odds were, like, heaps good. What did I just say? I just said Mayweather. 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 Yeah, it was, like, 7 to 1 for McGregor. And uh, betting on Mayweather, like, if you put a dollar down, you got something like like 25 cents back. It was something fucking just like not even worth it. It was ridiculously stupid. Yeah, it was. Um, it was like if you betted a hundred dollars on McGregor, you get a hundred and hundred and twenty, hundred and fifty, something like that. But if you bet a hundred on the thing, you get a really? hundred uh, twenty two bucks. I, I, lo- I looked at the this day it was happening, and I um, I just had to look to see if I put fifty on McGregor, how much I'd get back. If I put fifty on McGregor, I would have got two hundred back. Yeah, but on yeah. like on thing it was like 22 bucks or something you would have got not much i i don't remember the quote exactly it was on the instagram post i was looking at that yeah fair enough fair enough sportsbet.com.au uh who were you guys rooting for were you guys going for mcgregor uh yeah i was going for mcgregor now uh the reason i was going for him and i betted on him i knew he wasn't going to win uh yeah. i wanted him to but the reason was it just made sense more logical because mayweather had been doing it longer and mcgregor was just coming into this thing yeah exactly exactly i was i was more equal-minded with the fight like yeah, no, I, I didn't i didn't really like play a favorite i guess like you know it would have been great for mcgregor to like come in and you know just kick the shit out of it, around yeah. and just like take over the boxing ring and shit but like it's not meant to be you know mayla the has built his illustrious career like over the years and you know like it's just it wasn't gonna happen you know he, he finished up 50 and 0 and um good on him and good on mcgregor for giving it a crack you see uh i was following the hype going in at press conferences everything like mcgregor said i wanted it to be true like i was like yes 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 I was i'll like, knock him out in the fourth round yeah i was getting yeah. more hyped like i was oh, i was like yeah did you, yeah, see, did you see during the fight um i think it was like the fifth or sixth round mayweather went up to him and pushed him <laughs> and apparently you said to him i'm still up you know oh. what i mean like like just giving him shit yeah, like yeah. you know oh, your yeah, prediction but, fell short but i i just i don't know like the whole time in my head i was like mayweather's always on like i was i i thought he was gonna lose for pacquiao like that's when i thought he was gonna lose yeah i think i think in the majority of the fights mayweather's been in he's been the underdog if I'm being honest, if you think about it, think back in his career, the majority of the fights, like he's been an amazing fighter, but then everyone always thinks or wants but him to lose. He's the underdog, but he's like considered the underdog, but he's not. You know what yeah, I mean? Exactly. Like to the people, exactly. he's the underdog, but yeah. statistically, he's not. Like, I mean, I mean, his his career, he was very, he was very McGregor. If I'm being honest, throughout his career, he would shit talk. He would, he would almost get the people hating him. Yeah, which I feel made them sell more because people wanted to see this undefeated cockhead get beat yeah, yeah and then when he got older he's like you know he did, he dropped the persona a bit and he's like i'm a boxer i'm here to fight i'm here to give the people what they want yeah like i wanted mcgregor to win purely because i wanted to be alive when a ufc three time two time three time champion i forgot to forget ah, like two time yeah two two time multi division champion just waltzed into a boxing ring and beat an undefeated a legend you know what i mean like yeah. I just wanted to be alive that's, to see that's that. what I wanted too. It yeah. been classic. And that's for sure. That's why I made the bet with my dad. I was like, fuck it. I'm always the guy that's like, oh, what if this happened? What if? You know what I mean? Always the guy that's just like that, but what if? Yeah. It also felt a bit rigged towards Mayweather. Did you see did you see the the points? 
Yeah, the point yeah. scoring. Was but the points McGregor. were bullshit. McGregor's the first guy to lay over 100 punches on him in like 10 yeah. years or something like that. Yeah, he um he landed more punches than Pacquiao. Yeah, and Pacquiao's a fucking... Uh, the thing though, boxer. like, at the end, like, McGregor's used to fighting five... What, five five minute rounds, I think it is some some shit like that. I'm not too fluent with my USC and all that, but like yeah, and like when he uh, when he was taking on Mayweather, he got gas within the seventh. Like I thought seventh eighth, you know that was the end. Like he, he was gonna go down, made it to the tenth, still was gas, copped hits, was in his words he wasn't he wasn't gonna go down. Like you know he was just fatigued and stuff. So like who knows what the outcome could have been? It would have been better if like well, you know that, that's like, the thing. Wanted- Even with Diaz, with uh, when he fought Diaz in UFC, he got mid mid fight and the same thing kind of happened. He got a bit wobbly. He got a bit fatigued. And he says to himself, it, it's an issue he needs to work on. Yeah. He gets yeah. fatigued, he gets, he gets wobbly, and then he he recomposes, comes back out and gets a second wind. He truly believes it would have gone 12 rounds if the ref didn't call it off. It probably would have, like, yeah. in my opinion. Like, yeah, he didn't look completely dazed. Like, he just looked so fatigued and gassed. Like, he just looked like he was just needed a breather and that was it like so if he made it through that 10th round without the rest stopping and stuff he probably would have came when back I was, he still would have lost though he still would have lost when I woke up and then I did watch the fight I noticed like there was one part a few times where you know he'd go for the hit and then he'd go to turn but he was tempted to hit him from behind like yeah you yeah. Know, yeah and like I could see that happening and it was like that's just the UFC in him. It's because it's a different sport. It's already bred to him for years. To yeah, along with like along with him hitting behind, he also said he was doing it to get under Mayweather's skin. Oh, really? He was doing it to oh, get okay. under Mayweather's skin because it's an illegal move, yeah. first of all, I but it's not that it illegal, you know yeah. what I mean? It's like the ref will stop it, but you're not going to get disqualified for you it. You get point deductions. Yeah, you get point him. deductions, yeah. but he was doing it. I feel, I feel the entire fight, Mayweather's plan was to, was to piss off Oh, sorry. McGregor's, McGregor's plan, plan was, was to piss off Mayweather and make Mayweather make a mistake. Because the thing is, like, you could see the first four rounds; they had distance, and McGregor was kicking the shit out of him with distance. He he had he has better reach. He has better. He has he has more of a fucking hitting power. You yeah. know what I mean? He was he was winning the first four, and then Mayweather started going in and doing that turn the back shit that he does. Yeah, which is a boring fucking fight. It's a really boring fight when they start doing that. Don't get me wrong; the fight was fucking phenomenal, absolutely great, but. It's a shame that it went down like that, really. And they only gave him one round out of all the rounds. They out of the ten rounds, yeah, they gave him one. <clears throat> I, I, I don't know. I, I the felt, first three with McGregor's like I don't know the first four. And, like, being generous, really. being generous, seven three. Being generous yeah, to seven, Mayweather, seven three. Yeah. I personally think it was it was it was even. I think it was dead set even. Yeah, well, Mayweather came out with his old school boxing te- uh, technique. See, you know, use the uh, good old. Wear him down and then beat him out. Did yeah. anyone watch the Pacquiao fight here? No, I haven't seen the Pacquiao. I've fight. seen the Pacquiao fight. Okay, when I was watching the Pacquiao fight live towards the end, I was like, I was convinced that Pacquiao had it just because I'd saw Pacquiao hit him more in my head. Yeah, towards yeah. the start. But Floyd does this thing where later on uh, it progresses. He hits quick and then like he backs up and dodges and gets out. You know what I mean? Just what he does for years. Yeah, exactly. Like, he he dodge. He's like he's an expert at like making. I don't know. It seemed like he didn't do that much. You know what I mean? That just yeah, seems yeah. like death. Did you, just out of curiosity, did you guys watch the undercard fights? The fight yeah. before him? No, I, I really can't. The undercard, um... Did you see, uh, yeah, Davis. Davis was his name. Yeah. The fluffy pants. Yeah, that's yeah. Mayweather's protege. Really? Yeah, that's that Mayweather guy trains that guy. That guy's a beast, bro. Yeah, like, he's, he's, I think he's the future of boxing. Was bit, he was He was amazing. His finish off hit to win that fight was a bit thing, but like... I I don't know. No, I, I, think, I think the other guy kind of took a fall, if I'm being yeah, honest. That's, like... If you you look the you look at the replay, it was the back of the head, but it literally didn't even punch him. It skinned him. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And he just went down. I think I think he just took the fucking knee. Was like, this is this is the best way I can lose without losing. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Because you could see you see before he took like three body shots in a row. Then was like this little skim. He's like, fuck it, I'll go down for this. Yeah, he took mad hits. uh, Yeah, he took mad hits. Uh, with the okay, do you think this hurt McGregor? This fight? Oh, yeah, I was thinking because when it comes to UFC, as soon as you lose, you're kind of fucked. And in boxing as well, any sort of fighting, as soon as you uh, lose, you you start to kind of you start to lose relevancy. In some cases, yeah. Like but, look at look at Ronda Rousey, for example. But she lost and then lost again. And then yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? And 
Yeah. But the, I don't know the the women's UFC is a bit of a joke. If I'm being honest, they no one holds the belt for more than fucking two fights. It's like fucking hell. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't personally. I don't think it's like. I, I don't think it's affected him. Like he's made a hundred million dollars. Like you know, and he's he's keen to get back in the ring, but he just wants to enjoy his time with his family now. I mean, if anything, you can say it hurt his boxing career. Like, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. yeah, it did. Uh, but I like I said, it doesn't take anything away from him in my standpoint. Like, yeah, I don't think he's ever gonna. I don't think he's ever gonna go back to boxing. I don't think there's a point in it. I uh, think he's got. He's gone there to fight I the best. Think... Try to beat the best. If if there's a big enough payday in it, and um, if there's a big enough hype behind it, I think he will. But like, I, just out of his own free will, I don't think he's interested. The reason I think he will be interested is before when he was just fighting in the UFC. You remember him complaining after he won the two belts that he wasn't being paid enough and all this stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I reckon now he has a bargaining chip with Dana White to be like, oh, I can draw in boxing too, motherfucker. How about you pay me more? You yeah, but I mean? that's he said that he said we'll be renegotiating my contract. Yeah, yeah. that's what he yeah. said. He yeah. said we'll be renegotiating. But like he could always have that to go back to now. Like you know what I mean? Like that. I think he's made it well known. Yeah, like, yeah. Like because like he held like that was his first fight. I imagine like your first boxing fight debut is against the best. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I love so much where they were doing the um the stat cards at the beginning. Floyd Mayweather, forty nine and yeah, 0 yeah. undefeated Pro champion. Debut. Yeah. Conor McGregor, pro debut. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny, yeah. You're like, yeah, fucking good on you. Like, he also said at the end, apparently, like, he might be going again with Nate. Nate Diaz yeah, that's what I was about to comment on. I was about to say, what do you think is next? What do you want? Hope is next. I want that. Dana, I, I want Dana has, everyone. I think, I think Nate ha- is, is a little bit of a fucking Dana smart White ass. has been ducking that for a while. Like, yeah. he, they, when they brought it up in a press conference, he's like, no, no, that's not happening. And all, like, I, I, I remember when the, um, before this fight. the fight was first announced or some along those lines. Um, during a press conference, like, I remember Nate Diaz was tweeting some pretty edgy shit. Yeah, and I was like, "This guy needs to get shut the fuck up." He got beaten once, yeah. and now he's now he's just piping up to get a rematch. <laughs> I feel no. Well, it should be a rematch. To be fair, oh, yeah. he won one. McGregor won one. Yeah, fucking yeah. settle, it. settle yeah. it. Get it again. Get it again. Get the third. I I think McGregor will kick the shit out of him. Oh, years. of course. Yeah, yeah like, <laughs> McGregor's been now. Uh, I just want to shut up with the cunt story about Nate Diaz. Yeah, exactly. Bit. Exactly. Sorry. I no, I don't use that word. I think <laughs> I do. I think, um. With with Nate, I'm just thinking, would he have to gain or lose weight to fight him? Uh, last time Connor went because the first fight he had to Connor. lose a shit ton of weight, right? Yeah, pretty sure he had to lose a shit ton of weight, and, and that... Connor had to go after his weight, didn't he? Oh, uh, it was one some... of them. It was one of them, and uh, Connor Connor had to fluctuate his weight massively. Yeah, and I remember he kind of contributed that to the loss. Yeah, he was fatigued, he was worn out, he's just gone through this massive training regimen, and then the second fight, he he kept that weight. Built his strength at that weight, came back in and just fucking decimated yeah, good him. Fight, yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like the first fight was a bit of a fucking, a bit of a, you know, shit show. Which is, which is why, I mean, the third fight would be interesting if he had to lose or gain weight again to fight Diaz. He would have to, in my, who knows, he could go anyway. Yeah, I remember during the pre- press conference when um McG- McGregor was like, sorry, Mayweather was talking to McGregor about the fight. And all this. Yeah. he's like, I'm going to kick your ass in the octagon after I beat you in boxing too. He's like, no, you won't. <laughs> no, you won't. You never see Mayweather no, you in a fucking UFC. No, you won't. You never, You'll never see, see him in that fucking know, octagon. Bro. You would get like, absolutely. That destroyed. was the ultimate shit talk from the beginning. I'm like, even if like, no, there's no way. That's just like you. You know when you're a kid and you know you're lying. Yeah, there, there were there like, were two things. There were two <laughs> things that that he lied about, and one of them came true. He's like, "I'll come to the octagon." This at the other, and he's like, "We'll do eight out gloves. We'll do eight out gloves." And yeah. then and then and then McGregor's like, "Let's fucking do it," and they did it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's like he, he, he did a bluff. He got caught. His bluff. He's like, "Well, fuck, I gotta go eight ounce now." Yeah, it's like fair enough. I mean, didn't yeah, make it could, a difference yeah, in the didn't end. Didn't make a difference yeah. in the end. I mean, I think, I think definitely if if they were going i think it was 12 ounce they were they were planning originally on going with i yeah, think it would have been out of a lot faster if they did 12 ounce yeah i don't think i think mayweather just would have wiped the floor with him that's the thing yeah well i'm kind of like overhearing about the mcgregor mayweather stuff like now that it's done and dusted it yeah. was a good fight made history and glad, really was a lot for it. glad i saw it live yeah, yeah. all right moving yeah. on Moving on. All right. I want to talk about this Channel 10 shit. So CBS, the... Oh, should we also say what Channel 10 is for the... Okay, yeah. Channel 10 is 
our I think second no I think that I think they dropped a third third um most watch Australian TV channel yeah that's we right. have channel 7 channel 9 channel 10 this is free to air TV yeah as well. free to air TV okay. I think channel 9's first channel 7 then channel 10 and then ABC's and then SBS. and then like ABC SBS I actually think S- no I think SBS might be a bit better because SBS has the proper world news I watch the SBS world news almost every day you know yeah, what I mean yeah. like that's a thing um yeah so again CBS bought out troubled 10 network this headline says oh wow and what I found very interesting about it is that CBS will be launching a video on demand service in Australia to rival Netflix and Stan. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. That's that's the big headline. It's not that CBS bought 10. Who gives a fuck about that? That's what that. CBS are doing. It's, it's, yeah, CBS is trying to do a Netflix. Wow. Oh. Now, it concerns me because in this article, in this article, under it is NCIS. Yeah. Now... Sure. Who the fuck in their right mind would spend a certain amount of money a month to watch as much NCIS as they want? It's it's insane. I'm not hey, sure what their plan is. I mean, I can't I can't say because who you knows. You may be mind. laughing, but as a kid, Sunday nights, 9.40 p.m., I would fucking get settled in the bed and I would watch NCIS. Like, it's a good show and stuff, but I like, because I used to watch it. I was, I was like, like, I was 10. Keep yeah, in mind, yeah, yeah. But like, uh, nothing to do on a Sunday night. It's not really a show they should pitch for on demand. Like they should pitch a bigger show. What is a CBS show? I mean, the only thing I could think they used to have That's was Supergirl, point. but they cancelled that and moved it to the CW in America. So. Yeah, I think CBS is very much like a like a Master Chef type oh, channel got network. SUV. Oh, wow. I think I think I think they're literally like a shit post a shit post oh, TV I channel think in they America. Have Gotham, maybe? Oh, true, true. I don't know, no, yeah, yeah. I mean, like they all have again Gotham. I personally think shit. I fucking hate that. I show. can't make sense of it anymore. I Never know. watched it, so I don't know. I stopped watching at the end of season one. I was just like, "This is just going too far." They're literally fucking up every single timeline they possibly can. Like, so what are they? What are they going to air? Like, well, that's the thing. That's interesting. I don't know. I don't know what this means for ten. I don't know if CB CBS shows will now be showing on ten, and ten shows could be showing in CBS. But they're obviously going to be sharing the same video rights with each other. They're doing this on-demand shit now. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that means for ten as well. If if they're doing like an on-demand stuff only for channel ten, kind of like like ABC has like their online watch stuff whenever you want kind of thing. But they're yeah. doing it so there's a paywall as well. Uh, it's it's fascinating. I, it's I fascinating how it's happened. It. Well, I, I figured out why they're doing it. Yeah, well. Australia's hottest show. It's been saving 10 for years. Neighbours. No, isn't it, Neighbours on 11 though? Now? I'm pretty sure it's, it's on It's still owned by the 10 network. Oh, yeah. really? 10 yeah, network is... Yeah, still 11. Yeah, and that's, oh, yeah, that's a big thing. Time. So the 10 network has has three channels under its belt. Three yeah, additional channels, one. which is 1, 11, and 10. Oh, yeah. wow. Now, 10 is like... 10 is kind of like... in They've, they've, they've almost done it. Um, kind of target market way for ages. 10, I would say, is... 35 plus yeah 11 is 18 to 35 and one is 18 to 18 plus males that's kind of how they've done it so one is the sporting channel 11 is like the simpsons and all this shit and then 10 is stuff like um like a current affair type yeah. shit you know what i mean like shitty news channels and the, the occasional project, yeah the occasional like cops that, yeah. you know what Mash. I mean? Yeah, match all that stuff. That's <laughs> the thing. Match match. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm concerned about is if they're doing it on demand, is the rugby on yeah. one, the union. They I know the Bledisloe was recently on one, which is the Australian versus New Zealand oh, rugby union that, championship. Uh, Ten's got a cricket thing now. They are uh, they the, have cricket. Yeah, they have. They got the 2020. I think they have American baseball and American football. I'm I'm just I'm just concerned that that maybe all these shows are going to be stopped and they're going to try to do a uh, a demand service instead. Yeah, no, that, if they do that, then that's a bad idea. Cause no, like, you see, they just, still legally have the channel. Like they're not going to like just pipe it. I reckon we'll still see neighbors and stuff like that because neighbors are uh, is big overseas. It's uh it does well in the UK. Oh yeah, no the U- the UK love neighbors. They love yeah, yeah. Away. yeah. And I think right now that they own the channel that makes the yeah. Show. Whenever like like fifty percent of the time, if I meet someone 
online from the UK and I saw him from Australia. They'll no, sing no, me the Neighbours no, Friends song. Yeah. I'm like, fucking kill yourself, please. And, th- and what I love about it is they get Neighbours, like, like they're getting episodes that are like three years old here. Oh, and man. it feels good. It feels good <laughs> to know. Like, like fuck funny. you, bitch. That, that's not even filmed in Sydney, where we live. That's filmed in another state. It's yeah. filmed in Vic. Yeah, it's filmed in Vic. In Vic. Yeah. So like... Home and Away is filmed in Sydney. Could you imagine Neighbours set in Sydney in a West? That'd be mm. It would be like... <laughs> more drama yeah. it's just like way more drama because home, like, home and away is up on the the northern north yeah northern beaches yeah, home yeah, and away yeah, is up yeah. on the northern beaches like we can go to we can go where the home they shoot home and yeah, away the yeah, yeah, I've, been, I've been there where they shoot yeah my mum my mum does occasionally the hair for them oh which is funny cool. yeah that's yeah. pretty cool but yeah so well hopefully with this like they just they don't make it all on demand and they just keep it like the same but like with an on-demand feature i'm just, just trying to keep think the of what they have good. right now i'm sure they have some good stuff i just can't think of oh wait they own limitless the tv show don't they yeah um what else do they own that's all i can think of sorry cbs sorry not sorry i don't even know what the fuck but yeah i just don't i can't think of anything they actually make all right so okay so that's that's CBS, whatever. That's hopefully, hopefully they're not gonna do something fucking stupid, money grab and fuck around with people. Yeah, because that'd be upsetting. Not. But um, yeah, let's move on anyway. So the disappointment of the defenders. The defenders. Yeah. So we all watch the defenders. We've all seen. We've Every all seen the previous show. shows, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start from the very beginning. Daredevil season one. Yeah. 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 Remember the hallway fight scene. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck happened? Who directed that and where did they go? <laughs> why I, I, why I are really they not there? The question, like, it's just, insane, right? Happened. It's insane. Like that fight scene was just fucking you could hear the base of of the punches. The camera angles are amazing. Like you could see what he was doing. Yeah. Cut to the defenders tunnel fucking fight scene. Uh, piss boy. Shaky cam. It's it's almost like it's almost like they put a camera on some guy's foot. And just let him run around. It was <laughs> like, what the did. fuck are you doing? Like, it was terrible. So we can all agree that the um the downfall of the show was the Chinese restaurant. Yep. Yeah. The yeah. Chinese restaurant after that. Actually, I I'm willing no. to go a bit further. I Bakudo. think it's no, I fucking hate Bakudo. Yeah, why why does he just fuck. keep coming back? Like, seriously. I'm sorry. <laughs> like that was <laughs> annoying. Like I was like, I don't even care that like he's a part of the hand and fuck he's just back. It's just annoying. Yeah. So what what confused me is that with Bakudo, uh, first fun. of all, first of all, I'm changing the Chinese restaurant scene. I I think the downfall is when they killed Stick. I think as soon yeah. as they killed Stick, Stick was the only yeah. character with like something to him. I felt of the whole group and like yeah, it's that's... yeah, it's when Danny got kidnapped. Yeah. Everything just went downhill. It's like oh god, I went downhill fast. Yeah. Not even I don't fast. mean story wise. I mean like just like. It was shit. Like yeah. <laughs> it was just shit. Yeah. Like the, I mean, the the Chinese restaurant fight scene was pretty awesome. That was pretty cool. The uh, Danny, the Iron Fist versus Luke Cage. Oh yeah, no, that, was that that fight scene at the very beginning when Luke Cage got punched in the face, yeah, they gave me goosebumps. Like that set that set the mood. I was like, that this was is going to be dope. sick. Wait, and then we've got the spoiler warning. It's all right. Sorry, I'll um put spoilers for now and before. It's all right. I'll put a uh, thing on the screen anyway. Ah, right, easy, easy. That's, yeah. the, the the thing that really tilted me was uh in one of the trailers I watched, like they had a setup, and it, the setup was pretty much like the same as um the whole Nick Fury setup with the Avengers, where he dies and they like form the Avengers because of like all the shit that happens with him. Like they sort of use the same setup in the trailer for Stick, like. Yeah, in this trailer, like you know, it, they use him saying, "Oh yeah, you guys are the only four that can take down the hand," like something like that, along the lines in that trailer. And I was like, "They're sort of reusing, yeah, old stuff." You misfits here work together to defeat a common yeah, enemy. Exactly. It's like, oh boy, comic books. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, come on, get a bit creative. You fuckers. Yeah, exactly. Like, Do I don't know the defenders though. <laughs> Did, uh, I don't know. Did anyone else notice, like, Luke Cage looked hella fucking weak than he did in his own yeah, show? Yeah, I noticed What, what like, really confused me like, is, that, is that the stick. In that the show. stick said, the stick said, um, you could end this. Uh, he'll stick with someone else. He said, you could end this if you just unleashed 
your like the, your full fury or yeah, something along those yeah. lines. I and Luke Cage said, much. Luke Cage said, oh, I don't, I, you know, I'm not here to hurt people. Yeah. And I thought, I thought that line was setting up for the final scene for Luke Cage just to fucking destroy guns. Yeah, that's what I thought. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. like, did you notice like um when like Daddy first was hitting him, right? Yeah. Who didn't affect him at all, and it was just like. You know, not doing yeah. anything. And then when normal grabs, not even guys that had been revived by the fucking juice or whatever, mm-hmm. like, didn't, like, it was hurt, it was affecting him. And yeah, it was, was, he, was, he was moving, yeah. Where was the continuity to that? You know what I mean? And we, okay, these Marvel Netflix series have a bit of a continuity issue, if I'm being honest. Yeah. It, end of, end of yeah. Daredevil season two. Yeah. So, spoiler again, Elektra dies. She comes back at the end credits scene of Daredevil season two. Um, shows Electra getting put into that into that weird tomb thing to be resurrected, yeah? yeah. And then and then after Dead of Season 2, Iron Fist happened, yeah? They say they used the last of their revival shit, their stuff that's keeping them alive, Electra. to Electra. Yeah. However, Bakuda died after that. And how the fuck does he come back? How does Bakuda come back? What, did they just, did they just forget they had a spare fucking like, tomb full of yeah, shit? You know what I mean? It's a good point. It doesn't make sense. Bakuda, and the thing is with, with Iron Fist, Iron Fist, as bad as it was, because that was another letdown, as yeah. bad as Iron Fist was, there was a big payoff when, when Asian chick, I forgot her name, the, the one with the samurai swords. Okay. Um, I completely forgot her name. Don't ask me. Yeah, I completely forgot her name. It was Colleen. a massive payoff when oh, she yeah, fucking, Colleen Wing. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, Colleen. When she killed, when she, when she fucked up Bakuda. I, yeah. know, I know, like, you didn't see him die because he disappeared. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that was a massive, yeah. like, fuck yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, you got him. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Okay, that, whatever. That's fucking cool. And then he, and it's just like. To the phone the, to come back. Yeah, the entire Iron Fist, 10 episodes, 40 fucking minutes, was, just was leading to that, was leading to them fucking Bakuda. And all of a sudden. He comes back just mm. literally. Did you say Bakuda? It's yeah. Bakuda. Bakuda. I don't yeah. fucking care. That's, that's how little he cares about me. <laughs> Bakuda, yeah. Right. So that it just, it just it shit me. It's like, what was the point of watching Iron Fist at all? There was like no payoff of beating the bad guy because he just fucking came back and then they had another fucking fight scene. Who's, yeah. who's like, who thought it would be a good idea to put, have Electra, right? Kill off the bitch and be like, I'm the new interesting bad guy. She wasn't interesting at all to me. Yeah. If anything, you should have brought Kingpin. He would have been perfect. You know what I mean? Yeah, I I villain. honestly think I honestly think Kingpin's the best thing they got going. Like, yeah, yeah, you could have made that yeah. better. You could have like legit. Yeah, uh, like it wouldn't have made sense why? Because he was like a little head. Like he meant nothing to the head. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. When they were exactly. Using, like he was just he was just he was just a pawn. But like, could you imagine if like? While he was inside, he figured out everything, and all of a sudden, he was I, like, I know the hand. Bad. I think the hand as villains, the entire thing were just fucking boring. It was terrible. Daredevil season two, the hand were bad ass. Yeah. Oh, yeah, fucking yeah. with that hospital, like the hospital like scene, really bro. fucking with Daredevil. You know what I mean? Like the Daredevil having to fight those look. things. You know what I mean? Punisher and then made. the hand in in the Defenders were just like a pussy group. They Man, were ridiculous. Just slaughtered slowly, slaughtered. And they also changed their look as well. Yeah. I remember in Daredevil season two they were fully blacked out ninjas, and in this they were like henchmen. Yeah, they. It's like, what happened won. to your ninjas? <laughs> Bring the yeah, ninjas. <laughs> exactly. They had that, that dude. Like... They all had like street guns and shit. I was like, what? I guess they wanted to give the show a different feel because it's New York and all that. Yeah. Out of the four shows separately, though, like don't include the Defenders. I mean, like the individual shows. Yeah. Who was your favorite? Like, which show was the better show? Um, my favorite season. If you're gonna say Daredevil season two, that's it. Okay, I thought you would say that. That okay. I could watch Daredevil season two every week. All right. But let's not count. To be fair to the other shows, let's not count because they all got one season. Like okay, year. okay, okay. Um, Jessica Jones. Yeah, that's what I thought too. That had the better intro to it, the better story in the long run. Yeah, I Jewel think I a think great villain. I think continuity. The narrative. It's Jessica Jones. Daredevil season two. I'm sorry, it's Daredevil Season 2, Jessica Jones, Daredevil Season 1, Luke Cage, Iron Fist. Yeah. yeah. I think I think that's that's the <clears throat> ranking. And then I would put Defenders above Luke Cage. No, I'd put Iron Fist above Luke Cage, sorry. You put Iron Fist above Luke Cage? Oh uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah? I felt like I felt like Luke Cage was like it was good, like the action some of the action scenes, but the b- villain, that fucking villain, what was that? A villain. Yeah. yeah. He looked 
He looked like a fucking cosplayer, dude. Yeah, the <laughs> he did look like a cosplayer. Cool. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. All we can hope for now is... Uh, what was his name? Diamondback? Yeah. Yeah. Diamondback. All we can hope for now is that they uh, do a fucking great job on the Punisher because the uh, oh yeah the original they, movies they from they back will. in the day were you, like you all saw the end credits sick. yeah yeah you also yeah, did you yeah, see yeah. the end credits yeah I yeah. yeah yeah the end credit was just like yeah. it looks like they're full taking like the pro- like they're gonna run the same Punisher from the movies yeah like, and then yeah. yeah vile gruesome fucking like not Mate, shit they even Punisher. did a fucking John Wick. Fucking um, yeah. pavement smash scene. Is, uh, there, yeah. is there a way we can like, get yeah. this not to touch the defenders at all? Is like uh, just to keep it safe. Yeah, I think I think the best way they could do that is just keep it in New York. They keep it in yeah, New York. Just keep him his story solo, like yeah. just away from it yeah. all, and like give him his own story. And because, if they run it yeah. the same way they did in the movies, like it's gonna be perfect. Because I like I said, I can't stop talking about it. That movie was fucking on point. Like, yeah, um. Just the fight scenes, the whole storyline behind it and shit, like, for the movie was sick, so hopefully the show, they do, like, a similar job. Yeah. And, um, it's on point villain-wise and just story-wise in general. And hopefully, it, yeah, it's, it's a good show. The Punisher be our saviour. Punisher is life, mate. The Punisher be our saviour. Okay, so that's about it for the, uh, the entertainment section of this podcast. We're gonna switch over to the gaming section, um... If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Let us know if you uh, let us know if you liked it. Let us know if you want to see more or comment anything, any subjects you want us to talk about. Really, that's about it. iTunes listeners, keep on listening because we're gonna start talking about gaming shit. Okay. Oh yeah.